Imagine a world where there are no barriers to black healing. Together, we can heal through education, training, and advocacy. May is Mental Health Month, being Black Emotional and Mental Health Collective. This is Teachable Moments with April podcast. I am your host, April. If you're a returning listener, I appreciate you and welcome back. If you're a new listener, welcome and thank you. To everyone listening, remember, Teachable Moments are all around us. Enjoy. TV technology is always changing it for the better. More must-see stories, more can't-miss moments, but all that choice makes it harder to stand out and easier to get lost. More of what you love across all of TV, so you're unmissable for the entire streamer's journey. From power on to purchase complete, can't-miss moments where TV starts. Show-stopping control where TV happens. Breakthrough Connections, where TV engages. Welcome to Roku. Let us pray. God, sometimes the struggles I face in life seem so big, but you're bigger. Help me to cling to your promise of comfort in fearful moments and to experience your loving provision as I trust in you. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name, amen. This is Mindful Monday Mornings. Today's content is from Our Daily Bread, an anchor when you're afraid. We look at the book of Isaiah 51, 12. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Are you a worrier? I am. I wrestle with anxiety almost daily. I worry about big things. I worry about little things. Sometimes it seems like I worry about (laughs) everything. Once in my teens, I called the police when my parents were four hours late getting home. Scripture repeatedly tells us not to be afraid. Because of God's goodness and his power, and because he sent Jesus to die for us and his Holy Spirit to guide us, our fears don't have to rule our lives. We may well face hard times, but God has promised to be with us through it all. One passage that has helped me profoundly in fearful moments is Isaiah 51, 12 through 16. Here God reminded his people who had endured tremendous suffering that he was still with them and that his comforting presence is the ultimate reality. No matter how bad things may seem, I, even I, am he who comforts you. He told them through the prophet Isaiah at verse 12. I love that promise. Those eight words have been an emotional and emotion steadying anchor for my soul. I've clung to this promise repeatedly when life has felt overwhelming, when my own constant terror, verse 13, has felt just downright oppressive. Through this passage, God reminds me to lift my eyes from my fears and in faith and dependence to look to the one who stretches out the heavens, verse 13, the one who promises to comfort us. This morning's two questions are these. What fears do you need to surrender to God? And how have you learned to do this in the past? Let us pray. God, sometimes the struggles I face in life seem so big, but you're much bigger. Help me to cling to your promise of comfort in fearful moments and to experience your loving provision as I trust you. In your son Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. This is Mindful Mondays. 
I want to invite you personally to come back at noon when we talk about the topic of spiritual growth in the devotional entitled Growing in Christ from Our Daily Bread. I hope to see you there. just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcasts. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I invite you to connect with us on our social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. I also encourage you to become a paid subscriber in order to gain access to subscriber-only exclusive episodes and content. As always, be well and stay blessed. Until next time.